Today we're going to be working on the Veldetant Tress. It's a real great friction hitch to use. Um, the Veldetant Tress is one that when you use it, it really moves smoothly up. And when you want to descend, you can really descend very quickly. I'd say it's more of an advanced climber knot, but uh, I'll show it to you anyways. All right, let's get to it. This is a Veldetant Tress, VT for short. I um, wanted to explain a little bit more about it. In this VT, a lot of times people will have four wraps on top and then a number of different types of braids. So when you tie these wraps, they're what's really most of the friction. And then these braids will add to the friction. So with this VT, it's one of those um, hitches that are really smooth in two directions. When you're ascending, it's really smooth at going upward because it, when, when these braids open up, it pushes the, the wraps. And then when you put your weight back on, now this, these wraps grab and then these braids also grip the rope. Now the thing about this VT is it's one that when you descend, you could descend very quickly. It's one that you can just fly down a tree. Um, so with this, um, friction hits it's one that you really want to be careful at learning and and there are you know more things that you can do when it comes to wraps and braids you can do you can add some or, or use less of them um, when it comes to the wraps though usually four is the best and then maybe adding if you want to and then braids um, you lesser is okay um, but you're always with the wraps you want to have at least four so with this is something that when you're learning, you definitely want to do it low and slow. Now let's get into learning how to tie the VT. So we'll tie this Valdetant tress using an MRS system. I've already tied my double fisherman's bend. There'll be a link in the description below in all these knots, um, so you might want to have a look at that. So first I'm going to attach my termination to my belt. And now what I'll do with my length, I've got a eight millimeter, 30 inch cord. Um, normally I like a 24, so I'm not normally used to using this, but for me, I'll usually go two from pinky to thumb lengths for my leg. So there's one, and then I go to the next one, there's two. So that's how I'm gonna figure out my leg. On my Val de Taunt, I like to tie downward using gravity. So I'll start by, put, by putting my rope behind the line, and now I'll wrap four times downwards. So one, two, three, four. Now once I've done that, I'm gonna bring the top and cross over the bottom. Now I've got four wraps on top, and for me, since I'm pretty heavy, I'll do four braids. So here's one, two, and here's my third. Now what I'm gonna do is get my pulley. I'll connect it to my rope and I'll grab the carabiner. I'll set the eye through the cord, through the becket of the pulley, and right through the next eye. I'm going to rotate the carabiner and then I'm going to connect it to my saddle. There. Now I have got that part done. Now I'm going to tend the slack from underneath, pulling upward. Now what, when you do the velt the taunt, you want to make sure that it's tied correctly. When you lean back on it, you don't want to have to fidget with it. So you want to make sure when you do this motion, it sets on its own. You don't have to grab it and manipulate it. You know it's tied right when it can do that. So it looks like I've got it tied right. I'll, I'll go a little bit higher to uh, get a little bit off the ground. Tend it. Boom, and there you have it, the Val de Taunt on an MRS system. I just want to take a second and mention that if you guys are enjoying this video, subscribe um, and hit that bell so we get, you get notifications on videos. It really will help our channel a lot and we really would appreciate it. All right, let's get back to the video. I also want to tie the Val de Taunt tress um, going upward. A lot of people like to tie in that way, so I figure I'll do that also. So I'll start by placing my, my cord in front of my line, not behind, and now I'll do four upward wraps. So I'll do one, and here goes two, three, here's the fourth. From there, 
Now I'm gonna cross over the top and now I'll braid down the line. And I got a little bit of a, it's a little bit off, braid down the line. Get my pulley, connect the pulley and the carabiner, go through the eye of the cord, the pulley and the other eye, rotate that carabiner, connect to myself, put some weight on it and there you go. So the thing about the VT is that you, you can alter it to make it better for you. So this is a 30 inch cord. It could be that sometimes instead of just having four wraps, maybe you could even do a fifth. Okay, so um, the important part is that you, when you do cross over from the top, you take this top and you go over the bottom. That's the main step. So right now we're gonna do four wraps. So one, two, three, four, and now you work on the braids. And in the braids, you're just passing them around the rope. So this is one braid, two braid, three bra braids, and now I'm gonna capture it here. Now, also, if you are maybe like a lighter climber, you may not need three braids, you might be able to use two. So you could do four and two. Or if that's not working, you could do five and two or five and one. It depends on maybe the rope you're using and also maybe your weight. And, and yeah, and even the cord, because some cords are thicker in diameter, some are a different material, some have more um, round, they don't flatten out. This HRC cord flattens out a little bit, um, but even so for me, if I just use the four and a couple, then I, then I slide some. So I've always felt more comfortable with four and a lot more braids. So once you feel comfortable and you get the combination you want, then, then, then you, know, you start using it in that way. And um, you, know, you could use multiple different types of uh, pulleys also. There's a double eye or Beckett pulley. There's a hitch climber pulley with three Beckett's. Uh, for the example, we're just using this one. And so, and everything will always be the same through the eyes, through the Beckett's, and right there. And remember that when you're doing it, you want this VT to grab. Like, if, if you set it up, and you do this, and now you come down, but it's sliding, you're, you're tying it wrong. There's something you're doing, you may, may not have the right wraps, um, or, or yeah, you just, or maybe not the right combination, but if you have to grab it every time you, you weight back down, this is not right. You wanna make sure this is correct, because this is one of those friction hitches that you could um, really get hurt on. Um, it's one that really can descend quickly and it's, it's always one where you go upward, it, it feels like nothing. So it's really nice in that way. So there you have it, the Veldetant Tress. Well, there you have it, the Veldetant Tress. Remember with this friction hitch, it's one that's, that can really move fast on you. So you really wanna spend time getting to know it. You wanna really um, do low and slow and really stick to low and slow because with this friction hitch, it's something that you could get hurt on. So, uh, if you guys could drop a comment below on any kind of tree information, whether it's friction hitches or tree care, and you wanna see a video on it, um, give us a comment. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.